Hey everyone, welcome to our yoga video. I discovered yoga about two years ago and now it's an integral part of all my training routines. It helps improve my flexibility, my strength, and just my overall mental and physical conditioning. We've got some folks to help us out in the video today. We've got Paul, say hi Paul, Hello. Suzanne, and Margie over there. We've also got a very special guest. I realized that when I wanted to do a yoga video, I wanted to bring in somebody that was really, really strong and had an excellent background in teaching yoga. I'm not qualified to do that, but I love to participate in it. So we've got Yvonne. Yvonne's going to teach our routine today. You excited? Yes. Excellent. We're all going to jump in place and follow along. Now, folks, if you haven't done yoga before, pay attention to how Yvonne's going to kind of walk us through the beginning of the routine and show us some of the moves, correct us if we're doing it wrong, and then we're going to get into a bit of a flow, and that's the whole point of yoga. You really want to let your mind and your body kind of flow through the exercise. It is a fantastic routine. If you haven't tried this, I guarantee this will become your favorite DVD. So you ready to get started? Yes. Excellent. I'm going to scoot over here and listen to what you have to say. Ah, thank you. Welcome to our yoga workout. One of the most important things to know about the yoga workout is you do it without your shoes on and socks. So go ahead and take your shoes off, your socks off, and let's get started. So we're going to come lying on our back and let your feet come mat width distance apart then just step your feet wider than your hips and notice how your lower back feels. And then to let the knees touch, perhaps creating a little teepee. Let your arms come out to the sides with your palms face up. Close your eyes. And let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And do that two more times. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. So the one thing that I love about yoga is that we can strengthen the body physically. We can strengthen the body emotionally in staying with postures that might be challenging and working with the mind. And to begin to connect with the breath. So as you Begin here, feel your lower back resting in the earth, feel your shoulders, feel your arms. So the one thing that's different about laying on a hard surface like the ground or the floor is that you have the support of the sturdiness beneath you as opposed to a couch or cushions that still require the muscles to be engaged. Really let that relaxation begin in the body so that when we begin to engage the muscles, they'll be nice and soft and supple and ready to respond. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. Another practice of yoga is that very rhythm of the breath, in through the nose and out through the nose, creating warmth in the body from the inside. So we'll get nice and warm and maybe a little sweaty, but it will be from developing this inner fire through the breath and through moving the body. So continuing to breathe in your own rhythm, eventually we'll all breathe together. And for some it might feel a little faster than your rhythm and a little slower. Let's take another inhale together. And exhale through the mouth. Reach the arms back and up. Spread the fingers wide. Begin to awaken the wrists by wiggling the fingers and making circles with the fingers and the wrists, both directions. And then to lift the knees so that they are no longer touching. And then to lift the shins and the ankles and begin to make circles with the ankles and the toes. So lubricating the joints starting at the very tips of the body. And then from here we're going to come into what I call sticky bug. So the arms are going to reach straight up and then plug the arms back down into the earth. So the arm joint, uh, the shoulder joint's going to reach down as the arms reach up. And then same thing, looking at the knees right over the hip. And then you would like to imagine every vertebrae coming into the earth. So we're going to begin to work in the core. So each vertebrae presses down into the earth between the ribs, between the chest muscles, behind the neck. Yeah? And so you would imagine that there's a box 
right here, okay? Knees over hips, hands over shoulders. And then to relax, even as you're working. So if it gets to be challenging, you can bring your knees in a little closer, and as you want to engage a little more core, you'll extend the knees out, okay? How you doing, Paul? Great. You breathing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is a place where it might get a little challenging to breathe, because when we start to engage our core muscles and all the other muscles in the body start to shake, you might find that you're holding the breath. So just keep inhaling and exhaling. So from here, let's interlace the fingers behind the head. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, lift the right shoulder to meet the left knee, and then inhale back to center. And then exhale, let the left shoulder come towards the right knee. Notice I didn't say elbow, because you really want to peel the shoulder from the earth. Inhale to center, exhale, reach right shoulder, left knee, and inhale back to center. One more time like this, exhale, left shoulder to right knee, inhale back to center. Now we're going to add on. So as you inhale, reach that right arm outside of the left knee and extend your right leg long. So we're going to add on each time. If your level indicates that it's a little tricky, then stay back where we started. Take another breath here, lift that right shoulder blade off of the earth, reach through the right leg, exhale, and then inhale, bring everything back to center, hands behind the head, knees over hips. And then exhale, switch sides. So the left arm is going to reach outside of the right knee. Left leg long and breathe. Don't be afraid to rest on that right shoulder blade as you lift up high onto that left shoulder blade, feeling the abs and obliques take over. Take another breath in. Let it go. And inhale back to center. Now let's move that sequence through the breath. Exhale, reach right elbow, left knee, right leg. Inhale, center. Exhale, and switch. So again, that same modification. Keep noticing the form, hips over knees. Exhale, and reach left. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach right. So let's take four more rounds here. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. Beginning to build the heat from the inside. And as we move through our sequence, everything will start from the core. One more time, each side. Exhale, reach the leg, reach the arm. Inhale, center. Exhale, left arm, left leg, and center. Let's come back to sticky bug. Arms reach up. Plug the shoulder blades back down into the earth. If you're feeling a little tired, bring the knees in or drop the feet. Otherwise, we're going to take five breaths here. Feeling that heat from the inside. Every vertebrae coming down into the earth. So if you feel like you need to rest, bring the knees in, otherwise stick everything. Okay, so the reason why this is called sticky bug is imagine that you're a bug, you're stuck on the sticky mat, and you're trying to get up, but at the same time you're rooting down. See if that helps. Take one more breath, and then exhale, bring the knees into the chest, wrap the arms around, and breathe. So from here we're going to begin to rock from side to side. Massaging the lower back. And maybe making circles. This is important for guys to do, right, Yvonne? Absolutely. It is very important for every body, young and old. It will take us into our aging years gracefully. So cross the feet. And let's come rocking up and find tabletop positions. You're going to have your knees under your hips and your hands under your shoulders. And notice that this is the same position we were just in, upside down. So now you're going to think about lengthening the crown of the head forward and the tailbone back. Spread the fingers wide. Yeah. And don't be afraid to take a few breaths as you find what's happening in the spine. Don't be afraid to spread the fingers wide and really feel the grip underneath of you. So from here, we're going to move through a couple of cat-dog tilts. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, lift the head, look up. Let your eyes get in on the action. And then exhale, rounding the spine, chin to chest. 
looking all the way into the belly button. And then inhale. So very rarely do we ever exercise the eye muscles. So let them get in on the action. Look up, lift the chin. Exhale and round. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, look up. Exhale and round. Let's take five more rounds with your own breath. So there are a few staples in every diet. Water, yeah. This is one of the staples in the yoga diet, is finding that space through the spine, creating suppleness. Awesome. So you're lifting up and through here. And then as you inhale, letting the tailbone swing as if it's going to meet the crown of the head, right? So there's this suppleness. If you think about the dryer, the, the tubing of a dryer, so you want to have lots of suppleness in the spine. We're only as old as our spine is flexible. So let's take one more round. Paula well, must be new and I are pretty old. <laughs> you guys have awesome flexibility. I can tell you've been doing yoga. And then exhale. And then let's find neutral spine. We're going to begin to work on a little bit of balance. Balance is one of those things that if you don't practice on a regular basis, it eludes you. So look down between your fingers, and we're going to reach the right arm forward. And then we're going to extend the left leg back, starting with the toes on the earth. When that feels stable, then lift that left leg all the way up. Toes point down and press through the heel. And breathe. Remember all of that work that you cultivated in the core. Try not to sink down in the hips, but lift up and lengthen. Crown forward, tailbone back. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, we're going to bring the knee to the elbow, the elbow to the knee, forehead to the knee, similar to that rounding we just did, but now we're working on balancing core. Take an inhale, reach feet and fingers, and then exhale, draw into the belly. Five more like that. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. So notice that connection of the breath. Inhale. And then exhale. Hand down, knee down, tabletop position. On the next breath, reach the left hand forward. Reconnect with the earth beneath you. And then reach that right leg back, starting on the toe tips. And if that feels OK, lift the leg. Toes point down, press to the heel. Hips try to stay square as much as possible. Take an inhale, reach, and then exhale. Knee to chest, forehead to knees, elbow in. And then inhale, reach out. Exhale, draw in. So ways to make this more challenging, as you get familiar with the routine, you can close the eyes. You can let the eyes follow the hands and the knee. But be mindful that you're not trying to make it too extra spicy when it's not time. So just connect to the breathing. Sometimes simple is just as powerful. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, last time. Inhale, reach out. And exhale, tabletop. Hand down, knee down. And let's sit back into child's pose. Hips to heels, arms reach forward. Oh, boy. Are you starting to feel the heat building? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So please remember that through the whole routine, anytime you need to rest, this is a great place to come to. Think about letting the hips root down into the heels, letting the arms reach forward, or sometimes even bring in the hands down by your sides if that feels nice for a full release to the shoulders. Yeah. Take another breath in here. And exhale through the mouth. So from here, come back into your tabletop position, please. Curl your toes and lift your hips. So we'll take our first down dog of the day. So what you'd love to do is think about an inverted V position. 
So the string is right at the tailbone, lifting you up right between the sits bones, heels moving towards the ground. Feet are hip width distance apart. Sometimes people prefer a little wider, depending on how tight the hips are and the hamstrings. Hands are shoulder width apart. And again, spread the fingers wide. Spread the toes wide, lift the heels, come up onto the balls of the feet, feel that stretch through the back of the legs, and then lift the tailbone a little higher. Yes, now drop the heels back down. Beautiful. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, lift the heels, lift the tailbone, keep the shoulders relaxed. Exhale, drop the heels towards the ground. And then one more time, inhale, lift the heels, lift the hips. And exhale, drop the heels towards the earth. For the next breath, let's shift forward into plank pose, shoulders over wrists. So you might know this as the beginning of a push-up. Spread the fingers wide, press through each of the fingertip mounds, lift the hips in the same plane as the shoulders so you're not dipping down and you're not piking up. S press back through the feet. This is a whole body move, right, Pete? You're not just using your hands, you're not just using your shoulders, the legs are strong. Awesome, you guys look awesome. Take an inhale, and then exhale, lower the knees, keep the body straight as a board, and lower all the way down. This is modified chaturanga. Pause here, feel what it feels like, uncurl the toes, and then on the next inhale, lift up into cobra. Shoulders roll back and down, yeah? Spread the fingers wide, Staying as low as you need to or lifting up as much as your body asks you to. Inhale, curl the toes. Exhale, press back, child's pose. So toes are curled just so that we can begin to stimulate all of that energy underneath of the toes. Suzanne actually loves toe balances, so this is our modification for toe balance. But seriously, all of the 72,000 meridians in the body run through the toes. So this is a great way to stimulate the soles of the feet and all of those meridians. Take an inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Now, Yvonne, people should notice that these moves become a little bit more easier as the routine goes on, right? Absolutely. So it does get easier, and we're going to take them really slow in the beginning just to talk about form a little bit. But you'll start to see that right now, even this third time that we've come into Down Dog, it's a little bit easier. The body becomes a little bit more familiar with the pose, and the muscles begin to take the shape. So let's inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. I call this crouching dog. Hips to heels, shins are parallel to the floor. Look forward, and we're going to begin to walk. So you can keep the knees bent, depending on how the hamstrings feel. You can come onto the fingertips and straighten legs. Feet hip width distance apart, and let the head hang. Feel free to let the hands dangle against the earth. Turn the head side to side forward and back, and relax the neck. Breathe in, and breathe out. Bend the knees, and let's round the spine to come up to stand. Roll the shoulders up and back. Hmm. Bring the hands to the heart and close the eyes. So I'll try to explain as much as possible so that you don't need to look, but you can really tap into your listening skills and find those very small intricacies in the body, that connection of body and mind together. Let's breathe in together through the nose. Maybe that's why guys aren't so good at yoga, listening skills. It's that, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't think about that. You're right, Pete. <laughs> Inhale together. Exhale through the mouth. Arms reach out and up, lift up, look up if you like. Exhale and fold forward. Legs can stay straight or bend the knees, depending on how the hamstrings feel, at least until you get warm. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold again. Three more like that. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale and fold. So if you feel really tight in the backs of the legs, feel free to bring your hands to your shins so that you can get a nice lift through the torso. 
Exhale and fold. Do that one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let the torso drape over the legs. And then reach the arms out and up. Reverse that dive back to the sky. Reach up, look up, press down through the feet. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. This time, ground the hands, spread the fingers wide, step your feet back into a plank and pause. So we've already been here before. Reacclimate the body to this shape. Take an inhale, press through the hands, press through the feet, lower the knees down. Exhale, slowly lower the body down for your modified chaturanga. And then inhale, uncurl the toes, lift up, cobra pose. Curl the toes, exhale, child's pose first, and then lift the hips into downward facing dog. So for those of you that feel like, oh my God, what? You call this the workout? Be patient. We have to get the body ready. You wouldn't start doing bench press with 500 pounds. You start out with 20 and warm up the muscles. So same idea. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, crouching dog. Bend the knees, shins hover, and then step to the front of your mat. Lengthen. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. So there's many different ways to find this. So inhale, arms up. You can change it every time, noticing the difference in the shoulders each time you move. Inhale, open the back body as you lengthen. Exhale, step the other leg back into your plank. So each time you're stepping back, step back with the opposite leg. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees, lower the upper body. Inhale to cobra, uncurl the toes. Exhale, curl the toes, press back, child's pose, and then lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, crouching dog. Step to the front of your mat. That might make five steps or one step, fold. Again, as you begin to feel the hamstrings get warm, it might be one step. So let's add on from here. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step into your plank. Switch legs. Listen, inhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips. Exhale, back to your plank, lower the knees, modified chaturanga. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, curl the toes, hips to heels, downward facing dog, lift the hips. On your next inhale, lift the right leg behind you into a three-legged down dog. Press back through that left heel and breathe. And then exhale, step it forward. Bring your foot between your hands and lower the left knee down. Yeah? So, knees over heel. And so notice that you might come here and you might have to help the foot forward. No worries. Knee over heel. Okay? And then from here, let's reach the arms up. And either to stay here, or if the shoulders are feeling really tight, bring your hands to your heart and breathe. Actually, this pose with your hands at your heart is, please, God, let this be over soon. <laughs> are you? Awesome. <laughs> so if the shoulders are feeling nice and open, then to be here and continue to open. Notice what's happening in that left knee if it feels a little tweaky. So breathing into that left hip flexor and into the right hip. Take another breath in. Notice that we're working on balance here. And then exhale, hands down. Curl the left toes as you inhale, free that right leg back and up. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, lift the left leg, we'll move to the other side. Drop down through that right heel, work to square the shoulders. 
Mm, so another great way to work the legs independently, so this right hamstring might feel a little tighter than the other hamstring. Inhale, please. And then exhale, bring the knee forward, plant it between the feet, uh, between the hands, and lower the right knee down. Uncurl the toes, and then inhale, reach up. Breathing here, or bring your hands to your heart, like Paul, and pray that this will be over soon. We're just getting warmed up. <laughs> Think about that space and the side ribs opening up at the same time rooting down through the hips. Good. And breathe all the while you're doing this. So you should feel that in the front of that right hip flexor and in the outside of the left thigh, in the shoulders perhaps, and then also working on balance. Take an inhale here and then exhale and bow, hands down. Take an inhale, reach that left leg back and up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to lift the heels. Exhale to crouching dog, hips to heels. Now we can begin to jump forward if you're ready. So you'll press through the hands and open the front body and fold or you'll continue to walk. Inhale, reach up. You're still jumping forward? Awesome. Exhale. So part of the authentic practice of yoga, let's keep moving, inhale, is that you know what your body needs, so you give it enough, not too much, but enough to stir the pot, inhale. We can also jump back here, so if you're ready, press the hands down, hop back into your plank pose or step, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale forward, next add on is to take chaturanga full on, so press through the heels. Let the elbows brush by the ribs or lower to the knees. Inhale, shift forward into upward facing dog, which is on the tops of the feet. So it's the first time we've been here. Let's pause for a second. You can come down onto the knees and turn it back into cobra. Awesome. Shoulders rolling back. Yes. Shoulder blades come together. Don't be deceived. This is a very strong pose. Take an inhale here. Exhale, curl the toes, press back, downward facing dog, lift the hips. It took me a long time to figure out how to roll over the toes. So if that doesn't feel intuitive to you, then just step one foot at a time. Take an inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, crouching dog. Step or hop forward. Inhale. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. So let's take a moment here. Pause, close the eyes. Notice how you feel after just these few minutes of moving with the breath in these very simple yet powerful shapes. Let's inhale together. And exhale. Inhale, arms reach out and up. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back to your plank. Take an inhale, down dog. Exhale, come forward, take it full on or lower the knees into your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg reaches back and up. Exhale. Exhale, knee to chest and step that right foot forward. Inhale to lift the arms and lower that right knee, I mean left knee. And then exhale, hands to the heart. And let's bring that left elbow outside of the right knee. Uncurl the toes if they're curled. That'll give you a little bit more opening in the left hip flexor. And then work to stack the palms. So the very easiest way to be in the neck in this shape is to look down, also working on balance. Take an inhale, all the while thinking loving thoughts for the body, that you're strengthening and opening and in twists, creating a nice little massage to the organs. Take an inhale here. Exhale, hands down. 
as you inhale, reach that right leg back and up. And then listen, exhale, knee to chest. You're in a three-legged plank pose. So bring the knee into the chest, forehead to the knee, or keep it nice and long, looking down at the earth. Inhale, reach that right leg back and up. And then exhale, knee to chest, forehead to knee, porch swing. Two more like that. Inhale, reach the right leg back and up. Exhale, knee to chest. Last time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, knee to chest and place that right foot down, and swivel the left heel down. From here, we're going to windmill the left arm up and the right arm up and find Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. That's the first time I've thrown any Sanskrit at you. So the language of yoga is from India, and it's in Sanskrit. So Virabhadrasana 2, one, two, Warrior. Think Warrior. Are you thinking Warrior, Paul? I'm trying. <sighs> yes. I'm still and upset we skipped warrior one. So the idea here is the lower body is nice and strong, rooted down, yeah, and the upper body is nice and graceful and light. If it helps, you can even flip the palms up. If that helps, to relax the shoulders. Very nice. Take an inhale here. We're going to reach back. Left hand slides down the back leg and reach that right arm up. If you need a break, straighten the right leg. Otherwise, staying in that right thigh. Anybody's muscles engaged yet? Okay. okay, awesome. Take an inhale. Exhale, reach. And then as you inhale, right elbow to the right knee, reach the left arm up and over. Look down to the earth. Same thing. So anytime we're working on balance poses, looking down to the earth is the easiest place to be. Looking forward is a little bit more challenging. And then looking up and over is the most challenging. Actually, ultimately, closing the eyes would be the most challenging. So breathing here. We're going to take this through a little baby vinyasa. So as you inhale, reach up and over, right leg back, I mean right arm back. And then exhale, reach forward, press through the right elbow and lengthen through the left side body. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, reach back. And this time, swivel all the way around. Bring your hands to the floor. Pick up the left heel. You're back in your lunge. Inhale, right leg back and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, lift the heels. Exhale to crouch. Inhale, step or jump forward to the front of your mat. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take another moment here to notice the two sides. It's really nice to notice the work that you've done and to gather your breath and to gather your thoughts. Breathe in and breathe out. Other side, inhale, reach up. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump into your plank pose. Inhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips. Exhale, come forward, plank, chaturanga or modified chaturanga, lower the knees. Take an inhale, lift up, up dog. Downward facing dog. On the next breath, lift the left leg back and up. And then exhale, step it through between the hands, lower the right knee. And then we'll inhale, reach up, low lunge. And then exhale, bring the hands to the heart and begin to twist right elbow to the left knee, stacking the palms. So if this is even challenging, please feel free to rest here on the thigh. You can begin to work with one palm. And then as you find your balance, begin to stack the palms, looking down towards the earth. Again, notice what's happening in that right thigh, so that you're on the fleshy part of the thigh and not the kneecap. And then each inhale allows the ribs to lengthen. And then the exhale brings you into the twist. Very nice. And then all the while relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the breath, and relaxing the mind. Take an inhale here. 
exhale, hands down. Curl the right toes. Inhale, left leg back and up. Listen, exhale, three-legged plank or porch swing. So bringing that knee into the chest, spread the fingers wide, press back to the right heel. Inhale again. Exhale, hold. Use the breath. Use those abdominal muscles. Now let's move. Inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, knee to chest. Shoulders over wrists. Press through the fingertips. Try not to take it all in the wrist. Inhale, left leg back and up. Good. Exhale, forward. Feel strong arms, strong shoulders. One more. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, knee to chest, and step that foot between your hands. Swivel the right heel down, and then inhale, windmill. Right arm comes up. And do you feel this as a rest for a second? <laughs> yes. So relaxing the shoulders. So there's a tendency also to want to lean forward or to root forward. So think about lengthening here. Yes, root down through the legs, knees over the toes. Awesome. Press back to the outside edge of the right heel. Mm -hmm. And then again, if it helps, if you feel really tight in the shoulders, lift the palms. And that just offers a little softness. Yeah? Yes, it does. Good. Take an inhale. It's kind of like, give it to me, Pete. I got it. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up, reach through that left side body. Again, if you need a break, straighten that left leg. Otherwise, we're staying in that left quad. Press down through the big toe mound in the heel of the front foot, outside edge of the back foot. Inhale. Exhale, come forward. Left elbow, right, left thigh, right arm up and over. And then see if you can dive into that left thigh a little bit. Lengthening through the ribs. Take an inhale, exhale, let's move. So inhale, reach, right arm down the back leg, left arm up and over, exhale, forward, extended side angle. Inhale, reach up and back, exhale, forward. So I'm a huge advocate of cross training and love lifting weights, love that workout, and I also love yoga for the cross training. Feel this left leg, yes? Oh yeah. Yeah. One more time, inhale, back and over. And swivel all the way around, both feet down, I mean both hands down, lift your heel, left leg, back and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, lift the heels. Exhale and crouch. Inhale, move to the front of your mat and lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. So breathe and feel that. So one, mm, one tidbit about water. My personal opinion is that as we're moving through the flow, moving through the sequence, you're building fire in the body and when you drink water, it kind of quelches the fire. So if you can stay with it for about 30 more minutes, see if you can try not to drink water. If you need to, please feel free. Feel free to use a sweat towel. I always do. So let's move through that together. One breath, one movement. And have fun with it. Really connect to the body, connect to the breath, connect to what you feel like your limits are and step past them. Inhale together. And set it free. Inhale, arms up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plank pose. Take an inhale, down dog. Exhale, forward plank, chaturanga. Lower the knees or keep the legs strong and straight. Take an inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, and step it through between the hands. Lower the left knee down. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, side prayer twist. Left elbow, right knee. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down. Curl the left toes. Right leg reaches back and up. 
Exhale, porch swing, three-legged plank, knee to chest. Inhale, reach it back and up. Exhale, step it forward for warrior two. Lower the left heel down. Inhale, windmill the arms up. Exhale, keep moving. Left arm drops, right arm reaches. Inhale, extended side angle, left arm reaches. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, all the way around, plant the hands. Exhale, pick up that left heel. Mm. Inhale, right leg back and up. Exhale, feet down. Inhale, lift the heels, lift the hips. Exhale, and crouch. Inhale, move forward to the front of your mat. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. So we've gone through that several times. You might have noticed that every time you lift the arms differently, you're opening the shoulders a little differently. Exhale, plank. Take an inhale, lift the hips. Down dog. And then exhale, plank, chaturanga. So the idea of modifying is that when you get tired, you don't want to lose form, you don't want to get sloppy. So always taking care, left leg reaches back and up. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale to the heart and right elbow to the left knee. Take an inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, hands down. Left leg back and up. Exhale, three-legged plank, knee to chest, porch swing. Inhale, reach back and up. Exhale, knee to chest and plant the foot. Swivel the right heel down and inhale, warrior two. As you inhale, reach to the left arm up, right leg slides down the back. Exhale, forward, right arm reaches. <sighs> Inhale, reach back, reverse warrior. And then exhale, swivel all the way around, hands to the ground. Pick up the heel as you exhale. And then as you inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's pause here. So if you need to rest, please bring your knees down or you can take full-on child's pose. Otherwise, we're gonna take three breaths in down dog, and I'd love for you to notice how different it feels than when you first started your down dog. So now maybe there's a little more availability in the shoulders to roll open and to really open through those triceps. Yeah, and let the neck relax. Yeah, take another inhale here, please. Exhale through the mouth. Right leg back and up, three-legged down dog. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Swivel that left heel down and inhale. Reach up into warrior two, but then straighten the leg. We're going to move into trikonasana. There's the second Sanskrit triangle pose. So as you inhale, reach forward with the right hand. As you think about sending the hips back and let the right hand rest on the top of that shin and the left arm will reach up. Okay, again, working on balance, you'll start looking at the floor, or you might look forward, or you might look up. Okay, if it feels tricky to have the hand lifted, bring it to your hip. Ground down through the big toe mound of the right foot. Just for anyone who might feel really tight, I'll show you how you can use your block. You would bring your hand there so that you can keep all of this space. What you're looking for is space to the side ribs so that the breath can be nice and full. And then once you have evolved from the block, then you can bring it to the shin or to the floor. Yeah, but again, not sacrificing form, not sacrificing integrity. This is actually one of my favorite poses. It just feels really yummy in the body. It's very empowering to stand. Take an inhale, reach up, look up. And then exhale, left hand down. 
pick up the left heel, and find your lunge. As you inhale, extend the right leg back and up. Exhale, right foot down. And let's do that same thing on the other side. So inhale, reach the left leg back and up. And then exhale, step it forward between the hands. Swivel the right heel down. Come back through your warrior two as we started. And then exhale, stand. Feel the firmness of the legs. Outside edge of the back foot, big toe mound of the front foot. Take an inhale, reach forward with the arms as the hips move back, and then exhale, tip like a teapot, keeping all that space. Nice, Margie. So all of the space to the side ribs at the same time, rooting down through the feet, and that upper arm is nice and light. Good, and breathe. So remember to use your block if you need to. Feel the strength in the legs, feel the inner thighs working. Really connecting to the earth beneath you so that you can find support. That's why we do yoga barefoot, because you couldn't feel that if you had shoes on. Take an inhale here. Exhale, come forward and down. Pick up the right heel, you're in your lunge. And then inhale, left leg, back and up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, pick up the heels. Exhale, and crouch. Move to the front of your mat and lengthen. Exhale, and fold. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart, close the eyes. So we're going to begin to connect the breath. We're going to add Trikonasana, triangle pose, to the very end of our sequence. And move with the breath. So try to forget about if you're doing it right. Hopefully by this time, you can really connect with the body instead and feel the things shifting in the body as we move through the poses. Let's breathe in together. And set it free. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump into your plank pose. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, plank and then chaturanga, either full on or lower the knees to keep that integrity of the shape. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts back and up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, side prayer, twist. Elbows to land on that right, left knee. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, and bow. Right leg back and up. Exhale, porch swing, knee to chest. Inhale, reach back and up. Exhale, step it through. Coming back through porch swing. Use those abdominals. Take an inhale, Virabhadrasana 2, warrior 2. And then exhale, sweep back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, stand, straighten the legs. Exhale, reach forward, tip over like a teapot. And inhale into your full expression of trikonasana. Exhale, fold, high lunge. Inhale, right leg back and up. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale to crouch. Inhale, come forward. Exhale and fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, it's okay to smile. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, celebration of the strength of the body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, 
up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it between the hands. Lower the right knee down. Take an inhale to reach the arms up. And exhale, coming into your side prayer twist. Stack the elbows, stack the palms. Take an inhale to unwind and lift the arms. Exhale, hands down. Left leg back and up. Exhale, porch swing, knee to chest. Strong abdominals, press through that back leg. Inhale, reach the back leg up. Exhale, knee to chest and plant the foot. Inhale, warrior two, right heel grounded. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, reach up and over forward, right side ribs. Exhale, back again. Inhale, stand through your warrior one, straighten the leg. Exhale, reach the left arms forward for trikonasana, and then tip over and reach up with that right arm. Inhale, exhale, forward, lunge, pick up the right heel. Inhale, left leg, back and up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale to crouch, but stay where you are. Inhale to lift the heels. And look forward between your hands. We're going to move into dolphin, working on shoulders just a little. So look forward between your hands. I would love for you to do this simultaneously. Lowering both forearms down together and drop the head and look to your belly button. So here are some levels of working on this. Lower the knees and work on lowering the forearms together. Or in down dog, that you work one arm at a time. I believe that is one of the things that is in Pete's chest and shoulders workout. So. If you have been working on it there, this will be quite easy. So, take an inhale, look forward to your hands. Exhale, press both palms together and lift the arms simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're slippery, if you're a little sweaty, then wipe your mat, wipe your arm. Yeah. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, lower the forearms down. Breathe here. So really spread the fingers wide, press down through the forearm, press down through the elbow. Elbows are drawing in the, more than they're drawing out. So yeah, so this modification, bring your elbows in a little bit closer together, Pete. Mm -hmm. And then you're really pressing down through the flesh of that forearm and the fingertips. Take another inhale here, please. And then exhale, lower the knees. Sit, hips to heels. Drag your arms beside you, palms face up. Oh boy. How do you feel? Great. Invigorated? That wasn't exactly the word I was going to use, but yeah. <laughs> ah, so shoulders relax. So reconnect with the breath if you feel like it has gotten away from you. It's really kind of fun to play around with this whole idea of keeping our stability in the breath even among the chaos. So it might feel chaotic to move through these shapes that your body's not used to, but to just stay grounded in the breath, simply inhaling and exhaling. We do it every day, all the time, without even thinking about it. So from here, let's come back to tabletop, just so that we can transition onto our backs. So you can cross your feet and come sit. Scoot to the center of your mat. And we'll come lying down, so you can use a little abdominal energy to get there if you like, or hold onto the knees and round, depending on how you're feeling. If you have enough energy and you want a little extra spice, then you'll come down using the abdominals. Otherwise, use the knees and slide your hands down your thighs. And then inhale, reach the arms and reach the leg and lengthen the entire front body and back body. 
Wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. And then bring the knees into the chest and drop both knees over to the left. You can take that left arm on top of the left knee, right knee, reach the right arm out to the side and follow it with your eyes. So there's many different ways to twist in the body. This one I like especially because it keeps all of the lower back and the sacrum stable together as opposed to separating the legs. And then you can really let the heaviness of the legs allow the body to find some grounding. Again, thinking about that idea of resting on the earth as opposed to a cushion. Let the muscles begin to relax again. Relax the grip in the glutes, in the thighs, and in the back. Let's take another breath in here together. Exhale through that whole right side body. And then inhale, bring the knees back to the chest. If you would like, you can rock a little side to side. And then arms out. We'll drop the knees over to the right. I can't do that because the mic is in the way. <laughs> And again, relaxing the glute, relaxing the lower back. So here's another modification. So Margie has really nice open tight hams or open hamstrings and IT band. So she has done it with straight legs. Yeah. So there's another modification. This is where it really is nice to close the eyes and connect and listen to the body. What does it need, more or less? Typically, in our world of do, 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 it's less. It's less. Give yourself permission to let go. Yeah. So breathing in through the left side channels here. Let's inhale together. And exhale freely. And then inhale, bring the knees back into the chest. Rock and roll if that feels like a nice release. And now we're going to come into the most important of all the thousands of yoga postures. It's called Shavasana, corpse pose. So extend the legs long on your mat. Reach the arms out by your sides. Press the back of your skull into the mat. Lift your shoulders up. Draw the shoulder blades away from the head a neck, and then plant them back down. And once you do that, you might have to wiggle the legs as you kind of inchworm your way down. And let your feet drop out to the sides. Let your palms be up. And let your eyes be closed. So we're going to take 10 breaths here. Don't worry, you don't need to count. I'll count for you. But let each breath take you a little deeper into that relaxation, starting at the top of the head. So relax the wrinkles from the brow and the forehead. You could swallow and allow the jaw and the throat to relax. Let the shoulders find relief against the earth. Really feel the heaviness of the bones in the body and then the muscles feel like a piece of clothing that have just draped over the bones. And then the skin over the muscles. And this is the integration of all of the yoga asanas. The asanas are what we call the physical postures. So letting the body integrate all that you've just done. And letting the mind settle. Take another breath here in through the nose. 
exhale through the mouth. Reignite the body by wiggling the fingers and the toes. And come rolling over to your right side. And press your hands down into the earth to lift yourself up and come back to a comfortable seated position. And this comfortable seated position might feel more comfortable now after we have moved and circulated all of that blood in the body. Yeah? Hmm. Thank you for playing. Namaste. That was great, Yvonne. Thank you very much, everybody. Notice the breathing. Notice your tips on the water and the stretching. Everything else we do in all of our exercises kind of comes to fruition in yoga, so you can see where it's all centered. This is what I would call a yoga routine that somebody who's new to yoga can get through, and we'll have more advanced yoga routines as we progress through it. So thanks again, Yvonne. And now I'll drink lots of water. And now I'll drink lots of water. Yes. Great job. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. That was really good.